Tamsin Trail used to be a destination for mountain bikers and now it's a destination for gravel riders in London to do a significant amount of the kilometres that they need to train, to get fit, to get ready or just to enjoy views like this. However, as idyllic and enjoyable as it is, getting here from central London, not so much. So, although this is technically the A3, it doesn't look like a motorway yet. There's a cycle lane there, I'm going to take that. Okay. We're back. And yeah, I'm just doing this for a bit of contrast more than anything. But I can tell you, while this may not seem to you trucking the side of the A3 as the most ideal route, you've seen a minute how it changes. And that's what's wonderful about London. I mean, I've said this before, New York Central Park's amazing. There are some places with some amazing green spaces. But London. on another level not just because of the spaces but yeah because it rains so much there's so much green we still have bike lanes which go straight through bus stops and guess what yeah people don't really get off a bus looking for a cycle and here yeah, the path ends. So I don't know what you're supposed to do. I mean, there's no way I'm getting on the dual carriageway. I suppose we should get on the road, but that's not what we're going to be taking. And again, yeah. Ah, see, so I suppose you are supposed to get on the road. I know this sounds silly, but I mean, cyclists often get criticised of not knowing where stuff is, and it's like, well, most drivers don't even remember where their indicators are. But anyway, just like this, abracadabra, we are about to be transformed. It's a proper cycle lane, but as you can see, it's already promising what we're about to get onto, which is, Wonderful. Wonderful countryside, and this is so close. To central London. It's taken me 15 minutes to get here. And where it's going to take me to, it's kind of a part of the A3, which my car the other day took me two hours to get back from. I'm not joking. It was bank holiday weekend, obviously. Look at this green and pleasant land. And there's just so many paths to explore. But anyway, I'm going to leave you here for a sec and come back to you. There's some more things to see towards Wimbledon Way. We don't actually go past Wimbledon, Wimbledon, tennis place. Or see any wombles, I don't think. We do go past Wimbledon, and there is something nice to see there. Just like that, we arrived in Holland. No, we didn't. This is actually in Wimbledon. Here, yeah, mate. Bottom bracket beginning to grumble. I think it's time to give that a bit of a service. Look at this. Almost central London. F in zone 2 or zone 3 now. By the side is big open green spaces, lovely forests. Let's see if I can turn this. Well, it gives you a bit of a view. Well, we've got forests out of the side now. Which is still very nice, but. Uh, blackbird or crow. And a generation of English people who don't know these differences between the crows, jackdaws, black dogs, ravens. I blame the movie. It's 
So yeah, as we go from these woodlands, we open up to these massive green spaces. It looks like a golf course. I'm sure we are near a golf course. I can smell people lining up their balls to fire at me. Let's see where we are now. Hold on. Yeah, it's a nice golf course. Yeah. This is a cycling lane. Yep. This can get quite hard work on a gravel bike. This is proper, I mean, I almost call this a trail. Whoa! Did not see that route. Hello, group of dogs. There are loads of them. Whoa, roots. You can quickly get caught out here if you're busy yeah. recording rather than where you're going. Definitely going to be turning those feet up. Anyone who's had dogs will know probably the most unpredictable dog there is. Ooh, hard right. This is Spaniard. So glad I loaded this onto the carry. Oh. There's some water down there. Through the nettles. Yeah. It's very different because we are in England, any other country in the world, that would have crocodiles in it. Certainly not swimming in that. Wrong yet. Little bridge we shall not be getting. And it's only if you can see a dog cooling off. He's right. And it's over there, probably oh, can't see on the wide angle. I think we're arriving at. Yeah. Yeah, three. Bring this up a bit now. See what that looks like. I'm loving the uh, this case, the small rig one. I actually love everything small rig do, apart from the first iteration of the uh, Z60. Extension or whatever they call it. That was horrible. Oop, I've left. 
Ah, now we are approaching hell. South Coast and spent an hour doing a few hundred meters. Right, you see the little signs, there's horses to the right, cyclists to the left, very nice because we're coming out to Stag Lodge. There, horse lane, cycle lane, horse lane. So remember, guys and girls, life is too short to spend it all stuck in traffic. Get out there and enjoy nature a little bit more and a little bit more often. And remember to always order the cake. Life is too short to not eat cake.